Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. If you read my thumbnail, you're like, what? What's she talking about now? Hello, it's Monday. I am Terry Harden, Walt Disney's legendary Imagineer, and this is Terry TV. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I hope you had a lovely weekend. And uh, yeah, I went to Disneyland Resort. I emphasize the resort part of Disneyland Resort because I did not go to Disneyland. And uh, one of the reasons I didn't is because uh, this weekend, for those of you who may or may not know, this last weekend, this last Saturday, was the Chalk Walk 30th anniversary event. And this year we could not walk. Uh, Disney conflict, something we don't know, but instead the chalk, the, the, the board of chalk and the chalk organization, along with Disney aficionados decided that we were going to have a chalk event celebration that happened from nine to midnight at Disney's, uh, California adventure park. You could get early entry at five and hang out for the entire time, all the way to midnight. And if you hit certain criteria levels of donating, so let's say you hit a certain benchmark in donating, you got an extra perk. So at one level, you got a Disneyland ticket for the day, August 27th, but you got it for the day. The next one was mouse ears. The next one was uh, chalk shoes and socks and Anyway, the higher you did in donations, the more fun stuff you got. But everybody got to go in early. Everybody got to enjoy uh, DCA. And you could use your ticket for Disneyland in the morning that you won if you won one. Or you could use, or you could just go in in the afternoon. I chose, because I am a dream key pass holder, I chose to give my ticket to someone in my tribe. What? What's the tribe, you say? Let me tell you about the tribe. Patreon.com slash Terry Harden is Terry's tribe. And this is where you pay $5 a month, which is $60 a year, one Starbucks coffee a month. Or if you start putting quarters in a jar at the beginning of the month, you could easily have that $5 at the end of the month. Anyway, that is the first tier level to join my tribe where we have private conversations and you get to speak with me live each week. Not like this where you're posting in the comments, but an actual Zoom call each week. I, I offer that. And uh, uh, we talk all things. We talk Disney. We talk all different kind of things. Um, and we help each other. We, we support each other. We, we, uh, they, they, they became my support these last couple of weeks as I work with my elderly parents to make sure that the system doesn't treat them poorly or take advantage of them. And those of you who have elderly parents know what I'm talking about. So the tribe had my back as well as my husband having my back. The tribe had my back and I'm very, very grateful. But I help them as well. So it's not all about me, but go over to check this out. See if it interests you. Maybe you pay $5 and test it, test the waters, you know, see if you like it. And if you like it, we love having you, but you've got to be someone who wants to be generous with uh, helping as well as being helped. And we've had lots of successes and a lot of great things happen there. And I hope you'll join us. Okay. Your voice needs to be heard, but the tribe, I announced to Terry's tribe that I was getting this ticket and would all the people who could be available last Saturday, because it's only for that Saturday, go figure. And if they could get there for that Saturday to opt in and I would pull a name from a hat and the winner would have this ticket. So that's what I did because I'm a pass holder. And because honestly, I wasn't going to go to Disneyland on that day. I heard from a lot of people though, however, it was pretty light. It was a fairly light day. And uh, that sounds cool. Maybe certain areas were light, but my friends had a lot of my, my, the, the winning tribe person, uh, Michelle Dwinell actually had a great time and, uh, and it, and I wanted it to go to someone who couldn't normally go to Disneyland, you know, um, someone who would really love to be at Disneyland could make it at that time and could benefit from it because they would normally not get to go. Because as we know, it's for a price you got to, you got to sell your car or something to go now. So, uh, that's what it was about. 
And uh, that's what happened, the chalk event. But while I was there, are you saying, Terry, Disney Imagineer, uh, performer of Ghostbusters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on and on and on. Um, can you get to the point, please? Yes. The point is that I looked at this merchandise because I am in the merchandise business myself. You may have Googled me and seen that I created a beautiful set of hitchhiking ghosts that look like litter specters that are actually on your shelf. If you were able to purchase them, they are hence sold out. But uh, I have some black light ones still available. I have a Cheshire cat still available. I have some beautiful things that are still available. But the way to be the perfect marketer, if you will, is to study the trends, is to study the market in which you are swimming. Okay. And so I was eager to see what Disney was doing with their merchandise because I haven't been happy for a long time. And I'm sorry to say I wasn't happy this time. With the exception of the shirt I'm wearing, and I will stand. I saw this shirt on a young man and had to have it. This is a Tommy Bahama Hanai Mansion shirt. And it is absolutely stunning. And if I stand on my tippy toes for you and I raise the shirt up a little bit by pinching you can see that there's ghosts, but look at the seam. I want you to pay particular attention at this seam and how the design carries across the, let me use this hand, seam. Do you see that? See how the design carries across? This is probably why this shirt costs 150 bucks. No, I did not pay that. More on that later. But this shirt, there's a lot going on. Let me direct you to here. There's a pocket. Look again. You see? Perfectly matched here. All right? This is the kind of detail that I put into my products. The things that I offer to you as a collectible are done with this kind of care. And so... That's why it was probably $150. Now, as a dream key pass holder, I did say I was an Imagineer, but I'm a come here, come here, get away, get away Imagineer, which means that they hire me under contract when they need me, Disney. And when they don't, they put me back in the box for the next time they need me. This works out for both of us. So don't feel sorry for me. I'm an Imagineer, will always be an Imagineer, and they call me when they need me. And they always call me. So don't cry for me, Argentina. Uh, that is the case. And so because of that, I am as meticulous as this shirt company. And that is why you're going to pay a little more for our art. And this shirt is so soft, you would like to sleep in it. Let me tell you, it is just one of the most wonderful shirts to have against your body that you're ever going to experience. This is a brilliantly designed shirt. Every thread Every pattern is meticulously thought of and every shirt matches up. I know I looked. So what I did was I had gift cards and I happened to be a member of the Disney Visa group. Uh, this is a great thing to be a part of. A lot of times you get a lot of perks, special gifts that Disney gives you. But more importantly, you get points for your purchases. And I had a ton of points because of the pandemic. And, and, and I didn't really go into the parks and I don't buy a lot of Disney stuff. So basically I brought this shirt down to wait for it, 20 bucks. So for 20 bucks, it's a real deal. And I was very excited to have the points, to have the gift cards, to have the discount from my dream key and uh, uh, got my shirt. That being said, you saw the uh, dog pumpkin outfit that looks like a butt pooping from the above. And you may disagree or not, please put in here if you don't. I went and actually saw the pumpkin shirt, jacket, whatever that was. Oh, and then the shirt and the Crocs. I actually got to see the Crocs because a friend of mine bought them. And I said, they're so busy. They look like somebody vomited can candy all over your feet. And she kind of said, well, I like them and they are down on my feet. So she did point out that they're not so in your face because they're on her feet. 
So she didn't mind how busy they were, how too much on a page, if you will, because they were on her feet. And she, she has a point. She has a point. And I gave that to her because I said, okay, I'm going to give the Crocs their due. That busy design, which I absolutely do not like, please, if you love it, please teach me. Okay. I'm not doing this to upset you. I'm doing it because I don't know how it got from the drawing stage to being merchandise on the hanger in there. Because I think on a shirt, it looks awful. I think it looks absolutely horrible. And I waited till I went and saw it because sometimes photos can, can give you misinformation. So in all fairness, and again, let me thank Mice Chat because that photo came from Mice Chat. And, uh, and I, I like to credit those photos that I, that I borrow. And I want to thank you for that. Great photo, by the way. I love that angle of this poor dog in this butt pooping. And uh, then you see it from the side and the dog looks really happy, but he's a fake dog and he's got this pumpkin stuck. I mean, did you really, when you're designing, thought sticking to pumpkins like earmuffs on the dog's body was something that looked cute? To me, this just looks so lazy. If you agree, please post it in the comments. If you disagree, please defend your position. And I'm not saying defend your position like we're going to argue. And don't get personal. This is not about your choosing it. It's about how did it get from A to Z? I don't understand. I really don't. As a designer, there are some beautiful opportunities that really work. So I will, in all fairness, rather than rag on every product, I told you about this one. The other one I saw that was cute, now I didn't buy it, but I thought it was cute, was Stitch in his little Haunted Mansion outfit. Stitch seems to be a character that can be everywhere. Would you agree? He seems to just be able to be in everything. Not all characters are allowed to do that. Mickey and Minnie are the two that come to mind that seem to be universally everywhere. But Stitch has managed to break that barrier. When you're designing for Disney, you may or may not know that certain characters have to stay within their lands. And I remember that when I was pitching Disney a product to sell at the park, I put Chippendale in a teacup because I like the personalities of Chippendale. They're kind of they're kind of stinker, fun-loving, prankster kind of characters. And I thought they'd be cute in a teacup. I thought that, that this sounded normal to me. And they made it very clear I was breaking a wall that I wasn't allowed to break. Chip and Dale were not allowed to be in Fantasyland under any circumstances. And they will tell you that you can't put Alice on Splash Mountain or in the Winnie the Pooh ride. It is absolutely taboo. You can't do it. And Disney doesn't allow it. The only people that can intermingle throughout the park, you may or may not know this, and you probably do because you're Disney aficionados, uh, that only the Fab Four can move around the park freely. So that's your Donald Duck and Daisy, Mickey and Minnie, Goofy, and uh, Pluto. That's it. That's it. Tigger cannot be in a teacup. Nope, 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 not allowed. So as a result, all of a sudden I saw a stitch popping in places, you know, stitch at the Haunted Mansion, stitch here, stitch there. And uh, he has managed to, to cross that barrier comfortably. And well, in many cases, I like what I see with stitch, except for the pumpkin stuff. I'm not digging that. Okay. There's some stitch stuff that just ain't working for me when I saw the merchandise. Just not working. On that other hand, there's stuff that works for me. So they had a uh, shirt with Jack Skellington, and it looks like if you wear a pair of 3D glasses, it makes the Jack Skellington head pop up the jacket. But I would have liked to see that jacket not stop at the waist. It's kind of that baseball jacket style, that kind of puffy, and that kind of makes it look like the little heads are overcrowding. So if it was a longer shirt like this Tommy Bahama and they spread out just a bit, I think since you're trying to make this 3D effect happen, I mean, because without the glasses, it, it looks messy. It looks like the registration isn't registering, okay, to the layman. It's a nice idea, 
but you're not always going to be wearing those 3D glasses, are you? So it's kind of like, mm. and maybe when you're riding the ride, let's say you ride the Haunted Mansion, maybe the shirt is affected, which might be cool. But then you're not looking at the ride, you're looking at the shirt. So, mm. you know, you see what I'm saying? A lot of thought does not seem to be occurring, in my opinion, with this. Yeah, it just is. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, no. I, I just kept saying, no, no. Oh, oh Lord, no. Oh my goodness, no. And then I saw that the uh, ha, uh, the uh, electrical parade merchandise is now 30% off. And that's not including your dream key discount if you happen to have a dream key. So if you love the 25th anniversary of the electrical parade, now is the time to be purchasing that jacket that seemed a bit pricey to you at the time, or maybe that shirt seemed pricey. Now's the time to go to uh, the Disney store in downtown Disney and buy that for yourself. Doesn't really help those of you who bought it off the rack in the beginning. <coughs> no guarantees that this can happen, but I can tell you, it was a big rack on Saturday. And there's a couple designs for the electrical parade that actually do work. I came, I thought, well, if I can't find my Tommy Bahama, maybe I'll get one of those shirts. But uh, I found it, so I didn't buy it. So sometimes when you're collecting, you got to say, and I'm not collecting anymore, but I'm saying if I really love it, do I, you know, walk away? And I mean, unless it's something that <coughs> if you walked away and it wasn't there when you came back, you'd be heartbroken. I was really determined to find a shirt. And so when I went into off the page and the girl said she had just refilled the rack, I was like, I'm destined to get it. Oh, you know, and I just love it. I wanted to show it to you today because it is just an amazing shirt. It is so stunning. It is so stunning and it feels so good against my skin. So, so there you go. Let's hear what you have to say and uh, we'll chat this up a bit. eh? Jeanette says, yep, designed by someone with no taste whatsoever. So I'm not delusional, eh? Um, these design flaws seem to come in waves. I remember a whole slew of Tinkerbell dolls and merchandise that looks as if she was stoned. <laughs> you didn't buy any of that, did you, Jeanette? Because here's the thing, guys. If you don't like the stuff, don't, please don't buy it. Because if you purchase it, purchase it because of FOMO, fear of missing out, you are giving Disney the wrong message. If you don't purchase it because it's not floating your boat. Now, if you love it, buy it. But if you're not loving it, don't buy it. Okay, please don't buy it. Hence this Trader Sam's latest tiki that looks like a planter, which is kind of monstro, but not monstro. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, one of the persons said that she couldn't understand why the teeth weren't white. They were blue. I don't get that either, but it's not a tiki. It's a planter. And yet people were lined up for miles to get their whale. And I, I don't get it. It's not an attractive piece, but they'll keep making them like that if you keep buying them. So it's up to you. If you really love it, help this Disney Imagineer who wants design, to eventually design tikis, make it a tiki. What it did do for me is once I saw it, I said, how would I have created that to look like Monster the Whale as a tiki? Okay, that put the question in my head because I really would like to design tikis. I really would. I love them. But there are some that I just, you know, and that's what happens. When I see them not done right, it, it makes you squirm when you're a designer. You just kind of, ooh, 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 ooh. and you can't help being poked because you're like, oh, this is so awful. Oh, ooh, oh, you know, I got to get on this so you guys can have some decent collectibles. And that's why I do the collectibles that I do so that you have heirloom quality stuff to collect. You follow me? This is important to me. It can be done. It has been done. And like Jeanette talks here, 
if Tinkerbell looks stone, don't buy stone Tinkerbell unless you like stone Tinkerbell, all right? This is what I'm saying. Hello, Diane. Welcome. Good morning, Dennis Ritchie, and welcome. Hi, David Lewis. Welcome, welcome. Michelle says, hi, everybody out there in Terry TV land. Now, Michelle was the winner of the ticket in Terry's Drive. She, she reached out, and actually, it wasn't a drawing. It ended up not being a drawing because, you know, how many people can this quick uh, say they can be there on the only Saturday this ticket is good? And uh, she jumped up and said she was available. And Francisca jumped up and said she was available. And then the tribe came together and made sure they could both go. And that's all I'm going to tell you, okay? Because you got to be on the tribe side to see all the magic that happens there. So patreon.com slash Terry Harden. Please check it out. Here you go. Here's that banner once again. Patreon.com slash Terry Harden. Come be a tribe member for $5 a month. Why $5 a month? Why you got to pay $5 a month to see us privately? Because I put skin in the game. So do you. I'm not asking you to put a lot of skin in the game, but I am asking you to put skin in the game. You know, putting skin in the game makes you worthy of me going privately and talking to you after spending time here publicly, before spending time here publicly. So you got to put up because I put up. Okay, fair? I think so. I'm not asking a lot. So $5 a month, you get to be part of the tribe. It's a magical group. You will find it's a small price to pay to be with a group of people that are amazing. So, uh, and I always over deliver, don't I? So uh, there you go. Uh, no one asks me why, but I want to explain to you why, because some of you might be wondering why. That's why. If you don't want to pay, that helps me make this free, okay? So there you go, all right? That's the reason, all right? So uh, think about it and see uh, what you think, okay? Here's Evan saying, hi, you pal. Leo Holzer, good morning. Bob Burdine, the Patreon page, which is Terry's Tribe is Great, rock stars. And as Terry has said, our backgrounds are so diverse, we talk on many topics, and it's just a lot of fun. So if you're not a Disney-centric person, today we're a bit Disney-centric. And I will say, this channel tends to go to Disney stuff because uh, as an Imagineer, people want me to talk about that stuff, but we could talk about puppetry, um, which I am an expert at. We could talk about, uh, Ghostbusters, but all you have to do is on the, ask me anything you ask me anything, which is Fridays. And I will tackle all kinds of subjects, including what it's like to be a mixed kid in today's world, half black, half white. And a lot of the stuff that's happening in the world today. And a lot of people are curious, but some people are afraid to ask because they think I'm going to be offended. This is why I started the Ask Me Anything, because if you're curious, ask. I'm not going to judge you. This is a non, this is the no judgment zone, okay? You start judging, I'm not going to be liking you very much. Don't get personal with each other, okay? Don't, don't, don't say, you know, what are you talking about, you idiot? That's personal, okay? What are you talking about? How about you help me see your point of view is a better way of saying it. And I've noticed that on social media, people like to hurt each other a little bit personal. Okay. And that bothers me. Let me say that again. That irritates the heck out of me. So don't get personal. It is not about personal. We live, in case you didn't notice, we live in the United States and the United States people have a right to their opinion. All right. So respect that they have a right to their opinion and then debate with 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 dignity, debate with dignity. Don't be a Yahoo. OK, uh, debate with dignity. OK. And that's what I'm saying here about this or whatever we decide to debate on. Right. We're not real keen on political here because you cannot. No dog wins in a dogmatic race, okay? So, you know, you may have your point of view politically. Others have their point of view politically, and it's solid as a rock. There is no shift, okay? And so it gets people upset and angry, and we don't have a lot of time here. So there are channels designed for that. I'm sure there's a channel out there called the Argument Channel. If not, you guys who like to argue uh, or find it fun, uh, maybe you should create one. 
Um, but we don't do that here. Okay. So, uh, so that would be what I suggest. Tommy Bahamas quality merchandise well with her price as it will last forever with care. It's good to know. This is my first, my husband says he's had a couple and really loves them, but this is my first. And it is like, it is like a warm hug. I'm just going to tell you wearing it is, is that I, does Tommy Bahama make sleepwear? Cause I'm in. You know, I'm in if they make sleepwear. This stuff is just, it brings tears to your eyes. It's so beautifully soft. I don't know how he does it, but it's stunning. Hello, Joe. I was just thinking about you, actually. Um, uh, I wasn't really a fan of Stitch Haunted Mansion. I get he is supposed to look like a ghost, but it doesn't really, I don't really like the color of him. And that's not the one I'm talking about, because I agree with you, Evan. I don't like the ghostly stitch. It's weird. It's kind of, ooh. But I know what they were going for. I know at least I understand what they're going for with that one. But the one where he's in the little jacket, it's Stitch as Stitch, but he's wearing like a coat, like he's one of the cast members. Have you seen that one? It's really cute. It's really cute. I don't know how expensive it is, but I, I saw it in the Halloween section of the, the store in downtown Disney. What is that? World of Color store too? World of Disney store? World of Disney store? Anyway, you can see how often I go. But I absolutely loved. I just thought he looked cute in that little jacket. I thought the jacket could be better quality. But I know they're trying to keep the price down for people. But uh, I thought he was cute. It was his normal colors, Evan. But he was wearing a little green jacket with the black collar. You know, it looked like it was trying to replicate the outfit that the cast members wear at Haunted Mansion at first glance. I didn't pick him up. I just looked at him. He was on the shelf. And I thought, oh, that's cute. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Terry shopping. You don't want to go shopping with me because I'm like, mm, mm, ooh, mm, mm. They actually have a pair of what appear to be sleepwear with stitch on it. And it's a it's a powder blue. It looks like a a a, a sweatsuit. So it looks like a sweatshirt with the sweatpants, but it's powder blue and it's got stitches head spinning everywhere. It's beautifully spaced. The color is pretty, and it's mostly. I think it's mostly kid sizes, but there are adult sizes and uh, it's charming. It's really charming. But if I come home with another sweatsuit, my husband is going to go after me. Uh, and it was very soft too. It was very soft and lovely. I had to back away from that because I thought that was cute. So I'm not hating everything. I'm not like Mikey in life, but I really wasn't liking a lot of the new Halloween stuff. It just wasn't, it just... It was giving me a stomach ache more than anything else. I felt really woozy looking at it. And uh, all I could think of is if you wear the shirt and you put on that pumpkin jacket, you're going to be painful. You're just going to be painful. David says, off topic, I got the hyper chiller mug you told me about. It's beyond cool. Thanks. Yeah, it is. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's really nice. And uh, there's another thing that I really like, too, that I should tell you about, David, that's completely off topic, is if you like, uh, you go to a, a, a bar, whether you drink non-alcoholic or alcoholic, and you love their cool ice cubes like Rose and everything, I got one from a, I got one that makes that ball, that sphere, ice sphere, and it really looks cool in a gas, in, in a glass of whiskey, or in my case, Dr. Pepper and rum. I do a coconut rum and Dr. Pepper. Don't knock it. It's delicious. And that ball is just really lovely in there because once it gets wet, it has all of the, you know, the way that makes ice, all that pretty ice structure inside makes it look like a jewel. And it's really pretty. And you can buy them on Amazon, I think. I got a really good one that is uh, idiot proof. I have to have those ones that I don't have to think about. I can just fill them with water and go, ooh, bloop. And uh, they really look pretty in a, in a glass. So overall, what I do is I use a Smoke Tree Ranch. Smoke Tree Ranch is a Walt Disney favorite place where his original home was that he ended up selling in order to build Disneyland. That story for another time. Ask me on Ask Me Anything. But uh, but that that I put that ball in that nice tumbler and then I make my rum and it's just great. So there's something else for you. Something else to look for, David, if you don't have it already. But I'm glad you like the chiller. Uh, my daughter loves Chip and Dale. They're her favorites. Exactly, Diane. And it's 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 it wasn't that I wanted Chip and Dale 
to be in an alien thing. I just thought, who can, you know, everybody goes and rides those teacups. So I thought, what characters would actually enjoy being in the teacups besides the obvious Alice and her clan? But uh, I thought, who would actually like to be riding those teacups that could actually fit? And I thought Chip and Dale were the perfect fit, honestly. But Disney disagreed. And so that design was shelved. And, uh, and, uh, it can be a one of a kind, you know, I do one of a kind. So if you decide you'd love to have a one of a kind Chippendale and a teacup, hit me up and, uh, and we'll chat about it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, I won't be making a run of it because it, it, it does defy, uh, certain things for Disney and, uh, uh, some people are sticklers about that. So I won't be doing an edition of it, but if you want a one of a kind, then, um, you can reach out to me. Imagine Chip and Dale as Chip and Dale's dancers. Woohoo! Yes, that would be. <laughs> My question is, what would they take off? Because they're already nude, aren't they? Except for their fur. We don't want to see them without their fur. At least I don't. <laughs> Joe, you have painted a picture I probably would like to unsee now. Um, well, remember the original trailers and campaigns for Stitch, a little troublemaker in scenes from other classic Disney animated films. He's also, and I'm sure there's more, which Leo will tell me, uh, but he, that is a good point. And I think that's why he's able to bounce from place to place, to place, to place, and that it works. And for some reason, a lot of Stitch stuff is made well compared to a lot of other things. A lot of the Stitch stuff, this is the first time I've seen some Stitch stuff that is questionable. I'm not liking it. But usually the Stitch stuff is made, I have got a plus Stitch that went with me through uh, for the chalk walk because he's only about this big. I think I showed him to you. Stitch sleeping. And it's just adorable. He's fast asleep on his belly. I can't part with it. It's this big. And I can't part with it. I don't know why. But I he's adopted. He's mine and he's not going anywhere. And he was attached to my Stitch cooler, which I thought was great. So Stitch has got some products out there that are really killer nice and uh, really well designed. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, he's cornering the market on cool stuff for the most part. Some of this Halloween stuff doesn't work, but a lot of it does. Yeah. LOL, she says. Uh, sizes are hard to find if you wait for a sale. Exactly. So if it's something you absolutely adore, you got to buy it, guys. You got to buy it for full price. But if you find you wear the shirt and you love the shirt. So let's take the electrical parade. It's off for 30% off and you have a pass that's got 20% off, which means 50% off. Woohoo! And you found you loved a shirt that's super soft and you want, you wish you had bought two. This is the opportunity for you to get a second one or one for a friend if you can find your size. I saw in the shirts for the electrical parade as of Saturday, when was I in the store? Let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's be kind. Uh, it was 1030. How do I know it was 1030? Because I was on my way to the Frontier Tower to see my team and I walked through that store looking for the shirt. So uh, I stopped at the electrical parade area where all things electrical parade were on sale for 30% off. And uh, I noticed they had a, they had some small shirts, which is quite normal. And the shirts they were out of was like large. I think large was missing and maybe extra large was missing, but medium was there and two and three X was there. So there you go. How long will two and three X last? They don't last very long. They're a very popular size as well. and um, But they were there as of Saturday morning. And who knows how much is in the back? Okay, they could be replenished. So if you don't see your size, always ask because they're, they have, they're, they're low on, um, on um, um, employees, cast members, low on cast members. Let me say this properly. They're low on cast members. They don't have the help that they need. So they may not be able to restock as quickly as is they'd like to. So always ask if they have some in the back. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
that. Okay, I have just got my phone dinging because of my dad. Okay, and you know that story. Uh, that 3D NBC fabric is very disappointing to me. I bought a similar fabric that makes it look like an old VHS on an old TV, complete with do not adjust your tracking text. Oh, I cannot post a pic here, so I will post later. Wow, Pam. Thank you for that information because I was wondering about those. I was looking at those and I was like, there, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Okay. I, I, I wasn't feeling it. Now I have a shirt that I wear often on this channel that I bought in China. And one of the things you got to remember in China and will we'll disappoint you, uh, surprise you in Shanghai because they have larger people in China. Okay. So I wonder why the shot, the shirts only go to large and then they stop. And that's kind of a drag because they kind of keep them for small size individuals. Paris does the same thing, but you can kind of figure that in Paris because Paris is all about those models that look like pencils, those that don't eat. So they tend to keep in the tiny sizes. And uh, so if you're a larger size, you got to kind of work to find something in your size. And Disneyland, of course, does not do that. They do have the, the larger sizes because they're learning that there's all different kind of sizes. So, uh, so none of these are my dad. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I have to check. So forgive me for looking at my phone. It drives me crazy. But, uh, uh, but yeah, so, um, so I'm interested in that. Very interested in uh, more on that shirt that I saw because I was confused. And what was interesting was that other people who were in there to buy who love Jack Skellington were also confused. It looks like the registration is off and there's not a lot of explanation. Sure, the tags say some stuff, but it really needs to be on a big sign. You know, your goal is to push, make this stuff move, right? At least that's what I thought it was. And uh, and so if you had it up there explaining so people didn't think your your machine, your registration was off, uh, it, it would help. You know, it would seriously help. No one was buying. Uh, those starling eyes were really eerie, especially in bulk. Exactly, exactly. Just, 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 yeah. They, no, 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 no. Just wasn't working. Wasn't working. What did you think of Bob Gurr's tiki mugs he's selling? Uh, Susan, no. I love Bob Gurr. Gosh, do I love Bob Gurr. And I haven't had the chance to talk to Bob Gurr because Bob Gurr may be digging exactly what's happening with his mug, but his mug looks like a shrunken head. In fact, I zoomed in closer because I thought I saw stitches across the lips. Thank God I didn't. It really freaked me out. Let me just silence this, this so that it, it stops dinging. I need to be available for my father so I cannot silence my phone, which is seriously irritating, but uh, necessary. Anyway, uh, uh, I zoomed in when I saw the Tiki mug design. I zoomed in because it looked like the lips were stitched. Thank God they weren't. Such a creepy idea, but they weren't. It's just that it looks like a shrunken head to me and you're drinking out of his skull. I just don't like the design. Um, I will mention that I wish he had reached out to me to design it. I would have done it differently, but that's fine. It's just that I'm, I, I don't want to buy the mug. I love supporting Bob Gurr. One of the most enchanting things that Bob Gurr came up with and I'm going to be honest with you, I follow him in merchandising because he is a guru in merchandising and he and I become the king and queen of merchandising when it comes to our own personal brand. I just think we do it like rock stars and I hope he learns from me, but I definitely learn from him. So does that mean you're going to be seeing a tiki of me? Not unless I sculpt it and I won't be looking like a shrunken head. But the point is, if you like it, buy it, Okay. If you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, you're not obligated to buy it. You can go and visit Bob at, what is it? The Anaheim Hotel, which is in Anaheim. And it's the, the event, I think, is like 20 bucks. And the mug is 40. Correct me if I'm wrong, those of you in the know. But uh, it's a great price to pop in and say hello and celebrate his latest merchandising. If You know, he's going to sell out. He's Bob Gurr. Of course he will. And um, it's just not my taste. 
I would love to go visit him, except for it's the day after D23. Now, this is a very, very smart marketing tool as well. Making it the day after D23, many people won't be flying out Sunday night to all points to go away. Many will stay a couple of days after so they can hitch their 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 wagon to the Bob Gurr event and have the opportunity to meet Bob Gurr in person at the hotel and pick up a mug. And uh, again, this is brilliant. This is brilliant marketing. So no judgment. It's just not my taste. And uh, I love Bob Gurr very much. We're very good friends. In fact, we we should start our breakfasts up again. He and I usually go to breakfast. Uh, we used to go to breakfast once a month and then the pandemic hit and that sort of just blew everything out of the water. And then I'm helping my parents and working on that. I just haven't had a lot of time and he's been busy and I've been busy, but uh, I'd love to go to breakfast with him again. I love the man. And if you haven't met him, he's very entertaining and he's a good soul. He's a really good soul. So uh, go and support him. Even if you can't afford the mug or the mug isn't to your taste, if I wasn't going to be completely exhausted, I would go and see him. Uh, but right now, uh, my hugs and loves, and I'm happy to talk about it to you today to urge you to go for this opportunity not to be missed. Even if you don't want to buy the mug, go and see him, pay for the event and go and say hello. And maybe if you see the mug in person, you'll fall in love with it or you'll fall in love with Bob and you'll say, hey, will you sign the mug? And he'll sign the mug for you and you can put it up on your display if you're if you're someone who would like to have that. You know, don't listen to me. It's a little creepy to me, but that's because, you know, I don't want Bob's head on my shelf. That's all. That's all. Just for me, okay? I can't detach the two. Ooh, that was a bad use of words. Uh, but no, no. But I'm not saying you should feel the same, okay? Please don't think my opinion is yours. Have your own, you know? I'm an, ind you know, we're all individuals. I'm not, you know, um, um, life of Brian. So, uh, so guys, please, 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 please. If this is something that you could be excited about, please listen to Susan here and, uh, and go check it out. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun event. Regardless, it'll be fun because Bob's at the helm of it. Indeed. Yes. Good morning, Mary Ann Lewis. We got to chat, my dear. I'm sorry. Can we do it after D23? I'm sure you're just as busy. Uh, with D23, but let's let's have a chat. And if you're going to be at D23, Marianne, maybe we can connect. Uh, speaking of D23, I'm going to be wandering the halls of D23 because many of you heard I lost my booth. Um, I'm not going into it. It just didn't happen. And uh, let me just leave it at that. So I'm going to be wandering the halls and in my pockets will be the Rolly Crump chess set. So if you're interested in getting on the list so you can learn more about Rolly Crump's beautiful, gorgeous, fantastic, stunning chess set, look for my skull coat, look for me, and we'll talk about it, okay? Friday, I'm not there Saturday. Joyfully, I'm not there Saturday. And then I'm again there, I'm again Sunday, but I won't be talking Rolly Crump chess set. The only day you can talk Rolly Crump is Friday. And stay tuned to this channel. I will keep you posted as we get closer. Promise. I really promise. Okay. I promise. Okay, cool. Uh, Joe says people who buy stuff, they don't like just to not miss out or stupid. Just give me your money instead. And again, Joe, I disagree. I don't think they're stupid. Okay. That is directly saying something to them as a person. And I disagree. No, for whatever reason, I don't think it's a good idea, but I have to say, I have to disagree with you here. I don't think they're stupid. I don't think it's a stupid move. It's a obsession. All right. And let me explain that as a builder of sculptures extraordinaire and a designer of things that I love, I would love this blind faith. I'm not going to lie. I would love you to love me so much that you don't care what I burp up. You buy it because it has my name on it. And there are people out there that it has, if it, if it begins in Diz and ends in me, Disney, you're going to grab it. You know who you are out there. And you're the kind of person that I kind of wish I could build. But by the same token, I don't want to take advantage of that. Are you following me? I don't want to take advantage of your uh, blind devotion or your 
blind is another word. Maybe it's not right, but you just devoted to them. You want this because you want this. You're a collector of Disney tiki, so you collect all Disney tikis, no matter what they look like. This is your jam, if you will. Okay? I would like to have such devotion from someone like you about my art. I'm not even going to lie. All right? But that's a huge responsibility. And I don't want to turn out garbage just because I know you will buy anything. Am I saying that right to you? Are you following me? I don't think you're stupid. I think you have a benchmark. And that benchmark is you made a vow that you're going to collect every Trader Sam Disney Tiki on the planet, no matter the color, no matter if it's the thing, same thing over and over and over and over, just a different color. You're going to have your collection full of these, whether they're cute or not. I know people like this. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means that you have made a commitment. All right. And a company shouldn't take advantage of the commitment of that commitment. You know, if you'll buy anything, why make garbage just because you'll buy anything? This is a heartbreaker to me. I don't want to do that to you as a sculptor, as a painter, as a designer. I don't want to design stuff because I think I am so cool that you will swallow anything that I give you. You'll take the pill because it's me. In this case, it's Disney. I don't want that to be you. I don't want to take advantage of you. And you have been taking advantage a lot lately, haven't you? The stuff that's being put out is awful. And if you buy it anyway, those of you who have made this commitment, you're giving the message that what Disney thinks of you, how little they think of you, is correct. So that's a warning to you, okay? a warning to you. And please don't be angry at Joe because he feels this way. This is Joe's opinion. This is Joe's opinion. And we live in America. He has a right to his opinion. Michael Clark says, morning, love. All the artwork you do and can't wait for the Rolly Crumb chest set. Oh, Michael, you're so sweet. You're so, so sweet. Are you going to D23, Michael? And would you be there on Friday? I just got a great idea from you guys without you even speaking it. And I'm going to write it down. I just wrote it down. I'll tell you about it when I do it, okay? Thank you. See? When I talk to you and my tribe, I get these ideas pop in my head and I go, ee! okay, so uh, it's really exciting. Uh, uh, also, I'm going to do a little teaser here, and that is that I am an expert pumpkin sculpting teacher. If you go to my website, terryharden.com and click on uh, events, you will see my past class. I don't think I've updated it yet. I'm working on it. Um, don't sign up, please. God, don't sign up because you'll be signing up for the wrong day. It's the old, that's the old day we're doing the 30th, but it's an, it's a Sunday. All right. So don't sign up, but please, uh, be ready for an announcement that will happen after D23. Okay. Because I'm getting my website up and running so that when you sign up, you go to the proper class. All right. It's still the old information up there, but if you want to learn a little bit about it, uh, just don't sign up. Okay. Um, because it's not, it's not done yet. And I'm working on it. I'm giving myself the time between now and D23 to get that page up and running. So it's, it's, it's current. And that way you can go there and sign up, but I'm giving you the, the heads up because I can only take 30 people on the 30th. Isn't that wild? And 30 people on the 30th, 30 people on the 30th. I can only take 30 people on the 30th of October, the day before Halloween in Anaheim, California. So if you happen to be in near or going to Disneyland around the 30th and you'd like to add this to your schedule, just make put it in pencil right now and I will give you all the information 
after D23. My focus right now has to be D23. And I'm going to work on the pawn from the Merle Crump chess set so I can show you four different chess pieces as I walk the floor on Friday. And that way you'll get to see four. You won't get to see the chess board. I'll have to take a picture. I'll have to show that in a photo. But uh, at least if you want to be updated by it, you can you can hold the pieces. You can feel the pieces. You can see. You can ask me questions about Roly, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll do it because I have no home. And so I'm going to have to just wander like the vagabond gypsy person that I am. But I can do it. I'm cool. I'll be, I'll be in Vendor's Alley. That's where I'm going to hang out most of the day. So you should be able to find me in my magnificent skull coat. Okay? All right. Cool. Day. Cool beans. Um, trying to see if I have a shot of my coat so you can see if you're, if you're asking the question, where is that coat? Let's look at reasons and see if I can find reasons. Oops. I clicked the wrong thing. I was like, what's that? Ew. Uh, let me see if I have it in reasons. Anything that shows off my coat. Well, this one where I'm with Floyd Norman shows off my coat. Okay, so there you are. There I am with Floyd and his wonderful, wonderful, beautiful wife. And uh, and uh, both of them are just the sweetest people in the world. But you see my skull coat. There we are. So uh, there's my coat. Look for that coat. It goes to the floor. The facial expression rarely changes. And I'll be walking and have uh, the... Uh, uh, Roly Crumb chess set pieces in my satchel. And uh, that's where you can see them along with another surprise thing, which I will discuss as soon as I get permission. Okay. I've got to get permission first because right now it's under NDA. So I can't talk about it. Yeah. So I can't talk about it. Uh, uh, so thank you, Michael. So sweet of you. So I hope you're going to be at D23. Uh, when they would leave the designing to true designers, we could have decent merchandise. You're right, Lynn. And they used to have something called the advisory committee that Disney used to, when Walt was alive. And then for a few years after they had the Disney advisory committee that was made up of some tie of some collectors of all venues. They had collectors that would spend high money, which really, you know, those that paid thousands of dollars for certain collectible pieces, people who would talk about the things like mugs and, and the things that the person who walks through the park would grab uh, for a visit. And then middle of the road, you know, people in the middle that had a little money to spend, but not, but not, you know, budget. And there were the tears like that. They were all together. And they would all talk about things they'd like to collect, which is why we weren't so mug centric, because honestly, how many mugs can a person put in their shelf? So there's way too many mugs, but they're, they're easy for Disney to create. So we get these mugs and they're really cute. A lot of them are really cute, but, but you as a collector can't be one of those people who draws a line in sand and says, I want to collect every Disney mug because you can't live in your apartment or your home. There's just no room. And they're breakable. So in California, there's that. So you might keep them in boxes, which is like, what? So the point is, is that you were there and you would advise that Disney would get advice from people. Now they can do it on social media, but they don't really ask, do they? Excuse me. <gasps> they don't really ask, do they? So this is the challenge we're having. The sadness. The sadness. Because a lot of junk is coming out. And then they're shocked when it when it doesn't sell. What? Yeah, yeah. If you can't be on the tribe at 8.30, you can watch it later. We have so much fun. Try it. You'll like it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you can. You can watch it later. In fact, what I'm working on now is many people like Diane have explained to me that on our private Facebook page, you can't go back to the first broadcast that I do live. So I'm starting to work on posting them in my tribe page because Patreon has made it that I can now upload videos to exclusively to their page because they're hosting now. So it's really cool. It's really, really cool. So I am going to repurpose all of those so that you can go and listen to ones you missed or revisit ones you loved, especially. Okay. So that's in the works. But right now I'm, you know, dealing with family stuff. So just have patience. But you get a lot for that $5 a month. So I urge you to go. I urge you to be a part of it. You won't be disappointed. And if you are, it's just a click to leave. Okay? So you're not trapped in any way. 
it's honestly between you and me, one of the reasons I don't do one year pers- subscriptions, because a lot of times people will join for a year. It's not really a benefit to it other than you get it out of the way. But if you join for a year, it's really a challenge maybe to get refunded. So rather than get refunded, pay month to month, it's it's the same and uh, it's less on your budget. And then if you find that you, for whatever reason, can't stay, it's just a click and you exit. Yeah. Yeah. And you won't make me mad. Okay. I understand stuff happens. It's not for you for one thing. It's not for you. Okay. It's very, very different because I'm very, very different. This channel is very, very different. Subscribe if you like it. Don't if you don't. You know, please don't feel like I'm trying to, you know, grab you into something. It's not, I want quality, not quantity. Well, I'd love quality and quantity. I'd be lying if I didn't say that. But I want you to like what you're listening to. And it, I want it to be a benefit to you. All right? So please subscribe to this channel if it's a benefit to you. Share it with others if you think it'll be a benefit to them. And then click like so you don't miss out. Of course, I'm pretty I'm pretty consistent right now. I am going to start putting up other videos that aren't live. But again, that's that's got to be later because I've got a lot happening right now that I have to get to. And I only have so much time in a day. And I am a team of two, me and my husband. And my husband has a full-time job. So um, it's like right now, one and a half, because he does what he can in the cracks of his job. And that's what he should be doing. So most of the stuff that gets done that needs to get done is on me. And I don't have a lot of time. I have a lot of deadlines. Okay. Cause there's one of kind things that I do, both sculpture and painting. There's, uh, some charities. I like to join charities. I have several that are coming up. I have several events like the Rolly Crumb Chestnut. I have a deadline that I'd like to meet and haven't been near my table in three weeks. And the thing is, is when you're not collecting art, when you're not creating, what is your passion? Mine is art. Okay. Art and performance. If I don't do it, I become a cranky person because it's part of my DNA. And so that sweet, lovable person that you come to know as me sometimes has prickles because we're human, right? And those prickles are showing and I don't like it. So on my Patreon page last Friday, I uh, introduced my tribe to a puppet character that's very near and dear to my heart. And we talked about a funeral that I spoke at. May not sound fun to you, but you had to be there. And uh, it helped me because it was performance art. So it kind of got me in a good mood for last weekend because I needed to be at my best for Chalk, which is a charity I believe in and have been involved in it for five years. This was my fifth year. So uh, I needed to be there for my team and my captain and needed to not have that angry, prickly part of me that can come out if I don't get enough uh, of the painting, drawing, sculpting, designing, performing art part of it. Okay. That's the part that makes me a happy, joyful person. So um, if you're finding yourself be a bit cranky, do an analysis. And if you're not doing some of the things that you're passionate about, cut out some time for it, okay? Force yourself, okay? So that you can be a whole person as best you can. All right? Thank you for that. Joseph says, good morning, Terry. Uh, I, uh, I don't know what happened for Dis to Disney, but other than raising prices, merchandise really isn't nice as it used to be. I don't buy as much anymore since... The current designs don't appeal as they did in the past. And that seems to be universally spoken. Joseph, it's not just you. A lot of people are saying, mm, no, no. That being said, I think the D23 poster is actually pretty cool this year, but they don't seem to be being very cool. And that kind of breaks my heart, but it's not over until we hear the swan song so let's give them our best and hope they'll be good. I pray. <laughs> Please, D23, be kind to the people that pay for your food and your bread and butter. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Facebook user, hi, Joe Mino. How are you? You want to have fun discussion and learn a few things about different subjects, including yourself. <laughs> Join the tribe. That's so well said, Joe Mino. That's so well said. I joined out of curiosity, says Joe, and haven't looked back. Joe is a Lego expert. What's that you say? Joe is a Lego expert. And we came together when I showed him a picture. 
I showed you all actually on the public channel, a picture of my Lego dragon. And um, let me just see if I can pull him up here. Yes, I can. There he is. Okay, so here is the Lego dragon that really got Joe's attention. Joe is an expert. He's an he's he's someone who teaches, he's someone who co-creates, and he has a fabulous magazine based around these super creative people who kit bash and create Lego phenomenon. Yes. And uh, apparently there's conventions like this all over the world. And I told him he's got to let me know when the next one is, especially if it's in the U.S., because I'm going to try and go. I may not be able to go this year, but maybe next year. It's phenomenal. And that's what I'm talking about, this tribe. I learned a lot about Lego because of Joe. And then he told Naomi, who's also really brilliant. And they talked to me about Lego, among other things. And he's really brilliant. But I told him this. I, I learned about dots, fell in love with dots. That's the little dots that do kind of the pop art of Marilyn Monroe. You've seen it, the Beatles, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Iron Man, Batman, blah, 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 blah. and I fell in love with those dots and designed my dragon. However, I get, went a little crazy. Each one of these squares is 16 by 16 dots. So it is a friggin' huge mural, about five, almost six feet tall by about eight, nine feet long. All of that is dots. The cool news is I can do each one of these individual squares and then put it together later. Well, Joe saw and heard this and thought I might need some help or at least maybe discouragement. <laughs> Are you sure, Terry? He never discouraged me. But the main thing is, is that he joined the tribe and he learned so much more that he could possibly imagine because you can only tell a little bit about it because you got to experience it. So thank you, Joe, for that. And, uh, and Joe is a great addition because we learned so much about Lego. In fact, uh, many of you fell in love with the little Muppet characters that Lego just put out. Lego put out 12 Muppet characters and they're absolutely adorable. And uh, Joe decided that one of the nice things he could do for everyone who loves the Muppets is to send a, uh, a, a how to build instruction sheet and you could build the little, you know, lighted stage. You could actually light it. He doesn't show you how to light it, but, but the replica of the little opening stage from the original Muppets when they're all dancing inside and you can put your little Lego guys in there. I don't have it with me. I can't show it to you. I showed it on uh, another broadcast, but uh, I can show it to you at a later date. You can ask me in the Ask Me Anything, and I'll make sure that uh, I will do that for Friday. But uh, it was really cute, and I built it, and I displayed my characters in there, and I absolutely love it. I wouldn't even have thought about it if it hadn't been for Joe. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the tribe. So he really illustrated it beautifully. Really illustrated it beautifully. And Bob Berdine is smiling because he's getting a kick out of that. Michelle says, during lockdown, I stopped online and bought Death Star and Millennium Falcon uh, ice cube trays is what she means to say. Too much free time, I guess. No, 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 no. This is what I'm talking about. These are the fun things. These, this is a genius idea. Okay, the uh, Death Star, uh, uh, Death Star Millennium. I have a light up Death Star that's that's um, that's uh, how, what's the word is waterproofed, so you can turn the light on and put it in your drink, and it actually was a drink that you were served when uh, the uh, sports place at Downtown Disney was there. They used to have this uh, mug you could get of the of a stormtrooper, and or you could get a, a a cocktail that had the Death Star light up ball in there. I may still have one. If I do, I'll show you what it looks like. It changed colors and everything. You see them a lot now. Everybody's doing them. But back then, um, this sports thing, this this what was it? Uh, uh, I don't know what it was because I'm not a sports person, but it was a nice restaurant. It was a great sports place. It was right there. It's no longer there anymore. They've closed it because they're rebuilding downtown Disney. But it was a great place. It had good food and uh, it had these cool drinks. And one of them was a, a stormtrooper head. I bought one and my husband has it. Uh, if you want to see it, the top flips up, which is rather strange. But with a stormtrooper, I think that's cool. Uh, but anyway, 
it was cool. And then you got that little ball. So my point is the ice cubes would be cool like that, Michelle. I think that, you know, the Millennium Falcon in a drink. How fun is that? You know, so that's what I'm talking about. Cool merchandise that people enjoy that uh, in some cases isn't too pricey, right? Yeah, good idea. Greetings from Jacksonville. Hi, Jim. Welcome. Welcome, Jacksonville. Jacksonville's in the house. Thank you for joining us. I know what you mean about adopting Stitch. I, she says, and she's going to be saying more. So we'll wait for that. Uh, Jeanette says, my all-time favorite merchandise has been heavy, well-made t-shirts like my black, the Walt Disney Gallery one, and my gray one, Disney Character Department one. Nice. So you like them to be a quality. Not those that you add water like a straw and they sort of expand and they're made out of tissue paper. That's kind of a fun gimmick for your kids. But I look at that and go, that t-shirt is a handkerchief. <laughs> Makes a nice undershirt, maybe. But I'm with you. I do like the heavier, heavier t-shirts as well. They're durable for one thing. And if they're embroidered or the design is melded in as opposed to a vinyl. However, the vinyls are getting better. I've seen some vinyl shirts that people have said they've had for years and they're not wrinkly and cracky. It used to crack and wrinkle and be really awful. But today, many tell me that that's been improved. So that's exciting. That's very, very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Jeanette. I, I do like those better quality. They also have a thing that I really like. My Tommy Bahama has it, which is a little rim ribbon around the back collar of the T-shirt. It's sewn into the back so that that neck doesn't stretch out. Have you seen that? I'll bet you if you look at those two shirts, it's going to be there. That's just an added thing that they do. And that's quality. You're not going to find it in a cheap shirt. But those that have quality as their number one goal, they put that there so that your neckline doesn't, you know, go and become, you know, some sort of <laughs> some sort of new outfit, some sort of T-shirt dress uh, that might be great for a wrap when you're swimming. But, uh, you know, <laughs> so check to see if it has that. It's pretty neat. Jeanette says, my favorite all-time Disney are my early T-shirts, the Black Walt Disney Gallery and the gray. Yeah, she mentions that again. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They are your favorite. We can tell. Character design department. Lots of typo today. No, no, no. Typos are fine. Typos are fine. I'm, I'm, I'm deciphering it unless it just falls off. Uh, you know, the secret to the. Uh, I'm quoting a lot of Maya, Monty Python today. I love Monty Python. I love it. My favorite is um, is um, Holy Grail. I love the Holy Grail, and I'm always quoting the Holy Grail. Um, it's only a flesh wound. Uh, and I also, I just saw life of Brian again and, uh, we're all individuals. I'm not one of my favorite lines of all time. Uh, so it's cute. So anyway, forgive me if I keep quoting that and you don't know what it is. Now, you know what it is. Cindy. Hello. Just signed on. Sadly, I've seen a bit of questionable merchandise. It makes me wonder. We're both wondering Well, I walked through there. OK, the idea is to walk through there and have something catch your eye and you go, ooh, and you walk over and say, hey, you know, that's great. Wow. You know, stop in my tracks. Wow. OK. But if you oversaturate your market or you do not great stuff, uh, uh, people don't stop as often unless you're one of those that has been committed uh, to just buying Disney stuff, no matter what it is in your category. You love Tinkerbell, you buy all Tinkerbells. You love Tiki's, you buy all Tiki's, regardless of the way they look. Um, I suggest that you may be uh, all good stuff that makes you happy. Um, that way, Disney will soon get the message that this stuff is not happening, okay? Um, they're, they, I don't want to say they're getting the message because I don't know this. I don't know this at all, but I will tell you that uh, a little while back during May, um, I was honored at the Disneyana um, show and sale, the Disneyana by the Disneyana Fan Club International. I was honored as a Disney legend, and you remember I told you about it, okay? All right, so when I mentioned it in May, one of the things that happened is when you came to see me, many came to see me, not only the tribe came to see me, and again, while I'm thinking about it, 
It's patreon.com slash Terry Harden. Go there, be a part of the tribe, and you'll really have a good time, okay? I promise. Go there and be a part of the tribe. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, let me just get back to your comments. You have several here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. And we ended with this one. Just signed in sadly. We wonder. Yes, we both wonder. We wonder. Uh, but my point is you went, you came to the show and sale. Many of you came to the show and sale. My family came. A lot of my family who's never heard me speak. Can you imagine that? I've been speaking since 1998. I spoke before that, but officially I was a professional speaker and international speaker as of 1998. So I've been doing it for a while and uh, I've been broadcasting since, well, one of you guys tell me, I think it was 2004, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it probably wasn't 2004. It was probably later like 2011. But anyway, you guys would tell me that. I don't remember. But the point is this. The point is that um, I had someone who was, in a, 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 I have several cast members who are part of the tribe and they offered the rest of the tribe. So almost 25 people came from the tribe to see me get my legends award. And one of the cast members offered to take them to a special store. Many of you have heard of it, company D. And while there, one of the tribe people bought a set of the hitchhiking ghost pumpkin popcorn, not pumpkin popcorn buckets. Do you remember these? They are now at Company D or were in May in Company D for five bucks a piece. $15 got you this full set at Company D in May. Can I say they're there now? I can't. But then I had a special drawing because they donated it to our uh, uh, opportunity drawing that we have, our treasure chest on the tribe every month. They donated them there. And, the, and, and I thought, well, they're going to have to pay for shipping because they're big. I try not to make you pay for shipping for something that you're, you is a gift, right? But in this case, I let people know up front it was going to be something that was going to need to be, uh, the shipping was going to need to be paid for, or we were going to have to rig a hand, hand off. Uh, but they were very, very much, people were excited to get them, really, really wanted them. I don't know what they sold for, but the fact that they're at Company D means someone, either they weren't liked, which in this case doesn't make sense to me, okay? At least in May it didn't. Did Disney hold back to make you pay and then they held back too long and you got bored and you moved to something else? or? Did they sell out too quickly and then they didn't replenish them quick? And, I don't know, but they were at the company D store and there were a lot of them at the company D store in May. I haven't been to company D recently, so I can't tell you if they're there, there now, but the point is, is that they were there then. And is that happening a lot with these popcorn buckets guys? Uh, it, it, what's going on? Is it that you're not buying them because you don't like them or is there a hitch in the timing of when they're offered to you? Like the figment popcorn bucket and Walt Disney World. I don't think it ended up at their version of Company D, but the Mickey Mummy did. So if the Monkey Mummy is showing there and everybody really wanted Mickey as a mummy, it was super cute. It actually was a popcorn bucket. Uh, so there's some there's some hitches in the merchandising world of Disney. And so more later on that, I like discussing it because hopefully you guys will share your insight, share your thoughts. You know, you can go to City Hall and put in your thoughts. And I hope you will, because hopefully maybe Disney will listen and change. You know, we can always dream. Uh, Cindy saw... So, okay, so the mug she's talking about is the Bob Gurr mug. So she saw his mug and she thought it was odd. It's, 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 you're being so polite, Cindy. She's a sweetie, isn't she? It's just plain creepy. I'm sorry, Bob. I can't do that one. I'm, I'm sorry. It's creeping me out. But there's a lot of people who will buy it. So you don't really need my sale. And I'm happy that you don't need my sale. But, uh, eek. <laughs> maybe that's the point, right? 
Janet says, Bob Gurr does have a shrunken head. <laughs> see, somebody else said this to me. I don't see that. Uh, at the oh oh at the Golden Tiki in Las Vegas, I was there when I when I did it. Oh, so he has a shrunken head there. Okay, I'm just freaking out now. That's just too at TMI. I could have gone all day without that, Janet. That's really creeping me out now. I got the new Tiki Mung release of the whale on Friday, Monstro, but it doesn't look like Monstro, Janet. It doesn't, and does it have blue teeth? Somebody told me it has blue teeth. What's up with that? Why couldn't you make him white teeth? Don't tell me you couldn't have made them white teeth. I've seen tikis. Why aren't the teeth white? Am I wrong, Janet? Am I wrong? And it looks like a planter. It doesn't look like a tiki. Okay? I, I don't understand. It is not a tiki. How do you drink from that thing? Yeah, it, it, no, no, I'm not buying that. I'm not. I looked at it and I was like, this is lazy. Okay? This is for y'all that are collecting uh, anything and everything, Trader Sam's, and you don't care. Okay, you're going to get it if it comes from Trader Sam's and it resembles remotely something, even if it's ugly. And I, you, you know you're out there, whoever you are. I'm not saying that's you, Janet. But I am saying there people are out there just collecting it, whether it's cute or not. Disney fans have hungered for certain merch. Haunted Mansion, Pirates, NBC. NBC? Really? Uh, Stitch, etc. Pam, tell me what you're hungering for NBC. Nightmare Before Christmas. Not NBC. Boom, boom, boom. I thought the peak up. Sorry. You, I bet you you're being Nightmare Before Christmas and didn't want to type it out. Okay, I got it. You don't have to explain it. <laughs> I really did think, boom, boom, boom. Why would you even be crazy about NBC? It's ABC, right? Okay, sorry. My bad. Uh, uh, et cetera. Forever, and Disney has never got the memo, when they do sell inferior products, people buy it just to have their favorite attraction and characters. So, Pam, you need to talk to me more about this, okay? Because you may or may not know that I do collectibles. And if you suggest it, you get the right to have number one. You have to buy it, but you get the right to number one. And uh, uh, this is something that uh, in the fall, I'm going to do figment. I, I have to talk to Marianne because uh, I think she wanted figment for her gallery. And I can't do that because I suggested I was going to do that for everybody. So if I sell it at her gallery, Marianne needs to make a profit. She owns a gallery after all. So it has to be something unique to her gallery that I make. You follow me? And maybe you have a suggestion of what that should be, Pam Smith. I'd love to hear your suggestions. So please connect with me, will you? And suggest what you would like. This is my dad's nurse. And my dad's nurse, you, you've, heard, you've heard him interrupt me before. We're going to let that go to voicemail, even though I should be talking to him. Good grief. Oh, they just don't get They just don't get the uh, It's one of the best mugs released yet. It's one of the best release. It also went, it also went the smoothest ever. I was in and out of there in less than 20 minutes. When did you go, Janet? Did you mobile order? Tell me if you mobile ordered because a lot of people do disagree with you, but I'm glad it was smooth for you. And why is it one of the best? Tell me why. Because I thought it wasn't one of the best. So I'm curious to see why you think it's one of the best. Because personally, it's not a tiki mug. It's a planter. It's a great planter, maybe. Janet, help me out here. <laughs> help me, Janet. <laughs> Cindy says, make a difference. Boycott with your dollars. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself, Cindy. Uh, Bob, hello, Bob Lineweaver. Good morning. Happy Monday. Joe says, home. I have no home. <laughs> leaving like a, an, oh, leaving like an animal. The jungle is my home. <laughs> you see, now I've created another, yet another, yes. Uh, he's, he's great. He's great. I've heard a lot about chalk, says Stuart. Can you talk a bit more about it? Chalk is Children's Hospital of Orange County. They have been uh, they have been up and active for over 30 years, the Chalk Walk has. So Children's Hospital helps children, obviously, and uh, helps the families of children. If your children, if your child is fighting uh, a very serious uh, challenge, let me just say that disease or it, there's, it, it, it's such a wide arc. 
uh, go to uh, chalk.org and you can learn so much more than I can say. But the walk started to help raise money to support this. And Disney really took a shining to them. And uh, they became uh, partners or, you know, kind of collaborators, if you will. And Disney opened their park for what 30 years ago became the Chalk Walk. Now, the reason I had not been involved in the Chalk Walk at all was because they used to always have it in October. And in October, I'm a busy lady. I'm a pumpkin teacher. My month is full. So I could never do it. They always had it on a weekend and I could never do it. But I donated. But I could never be a part of it. And then Chalk realized that there were a lot of people in October that were unable to, or, to participate. One of the good things about it being in October was it was cooler months. But they saw that many people were donating, but mentioned to Chalk we couldn't be a part of it because October was a very uh, busy month for us. And I guess enough of us mentioned it or things shifted. Maybe we're being a bit too narcissistic to think they changed it for us, but they changed it for some reason. And it turned out that August around the 25th was a great day for Chalk. Uh uh, teams tripled or quadrupled, tripled, I think, and donations shot up. So they really were onto something. And that's when I joined, I joined a team that I've always been following that I love Mickey's O-U-A-C walkers. You can Google that O-U-A-C walkers. O period, U period, A period, C period, Mickey's OUAC Walkers is the team I'm a part of, and it's a great team. It's a wonderful team headed by uh, uh, Sharon Fleegan. She, she is an amazing team captain. She's an amazing lady. She is generous to a fault with her heart, her love, her caring. Uh, she's amazing, and she, a good leader, and she's an excellent leader, draws people naturally to her. She sets, she leads by example, she leads from the front, and it is an honor and a privilege to be part of Mickey's OUAC Walkers. You can actually go at, to uh, chalkwalk.org, type in Mickey's OUAC Walkers, and become a team member if you want to. Doesn't mean you have to do the walk. And in some cases like this time, you couldn't because there was none. It became the first time in history that we had an event in place of the walk. And I guess it was because of the challenges due to COVID. Not only COVID, the uh, disease, but the fact that there's reservations in both parks and stuff like that. I just think there was a cat's cradle that they couldn't untangle. So they created this event. It was a lot of fun. I got to tell you, it was great. But there were pros and cons to it. But this is an amazing organization. So I'm going, Stuart, I'm going to urge you to go to chalk.org and read about it. But you can go to chalkwalk.org and read about the Chalk Walk. You can become a team member now. You can become a team member later. And you can become, uh, or you can become, you can join your own team. Check the teams out. I'm not forcing you to join our team. I'm just telling ours is really cool. And uh, you can be an observer. You can cheer from the side. You can be virtual. Nowadays, there's you can be from all over the world. And we have them from all over the world. So uh, if you want to be a part of our team, yay, we'd love to have you. But if you want to be part of another team or you have friends and family who have their own team, just get involved. It is one of the most beautiful experiences of all the walks I've done, and I am a avid Disney run Disney person. I don't run. I walk. I, I walk very fast, about a 13-minute mile um, when I want to. Anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a race that's about the people more than the event, if that makes sense. So you're allowed to have wheelchairs, scooters, uh, those kick things when one of your legs isn't you know, when you remember when, you know, like if you have a cast on your leg or a boot on your leg and you have to rest it on that scooter, those are allowed. Uh, walkers are allowed. At least they have been in the past. And uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, you meet all walks of life. You get to meet all of the people who have benefited from Chuck. Many of the families who children have died um, but got really good care at Chalk before they passed and they're honored because they were, did something wonderful or they just were great 
everybody's just a great person. And it's a across the board, great, wonderful people. So uh, please look it up. It's my favorite thing to be a part of. And it was my favorite walk because everybody could be involved. 5k, everybody, it didn't matter. Didn't matter what you, 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 you're not a runner. Uh, you're missing a limb. Um, you're, you're challenged. Um, in some way you could do this. It come one, come all, come one, come all. And that's what makes it so, so special. So Stuart, I urge you to be a part of it because it is a dream come true to be a part of this organization. And I am an, uh, an, an I am an advocate for it hundred um, percent. It's not to be missed. I, I move things around not to miss it for five years. And I love being a part of Mickey's OUAC Walker. So I hope you will join us. ESPN zone. Janet, you're right. That is exactly correct. What a great place. Uh, I'm not much for sports, but I did love their food and I love their, their, their cocktail, uh, specialty cups and glasses that they had. Uh, my husband really loves that stormtrooper one with the flip top. It flips up. He, he, just, he loves it. And so I was happy to get it for him. Michelle Dunell says, I have a stitch that speaks to me when I speak to him. Genius. Great design. Fabulous. Fabulous idea. He's a real treasure and I love him. Okay. From what I told you before. So here you have this beautiful character. Stitch the talks. What's up with that? Why can't others talk? And my little soft plushie that's about this big, it might be a new emo and it's him sleeping. I can't part with it. I'm sorry. I can't part with it. It was given to me as a gift from um, my, ch my chalk walk team. I can't let it go. I love it so much. I cannot, it is mine. Okay. I don't know why. I just love that little guy. And he went, he, he went with me on the, to the chalk event. He's just so cute. I thought somebody might grab him, but they were all so generous you know, they're givers at that time, not takers, which is nice to be with a sea of givers, isn't it? Yeah. All of them are givers. Okay. So Stuart, if you, if you've been in the world of takers, Stuart, and you want to be with thousands and thousands and thousands of givers, you got to be a part of chalk. You will just weep with how generous everybody is with each other, especially in a time when you're not really seeing that, are we in the real world? Yeah. Thousands of givers thousands of givers it's a and and that's what made this event at night really really special you know was that you were with people that were just about giving back you know they asked questions like are the are the drinks at the at the mixer are the drinks do we pay for the drinks and they were like no you earned it already but that's what a giver does don't they you know are we still giving <laughs> we're asking you know I mean, it was, it's great to be a part of it. I, I can't say enough about it, as you can tell. Evan says, I rode Guardians yesterday, and at the gift shop, they had merch from the new Guardians ride at Epcot. That really confused me. It was a rocket and Groot in a roller coaster car. Yeah, that would confuse me too. <laughs> Is that ride coming? Maybe it's a preview of coming attractions. I don't know. I can't tell you. Yeah, a lot of celebrities have one there uh, at the Golden Tiki. Oh, okay. Where's the Golden Tiki? In Vegas? Never heard of this. You see? I'm just got to be more in the know, right? Right, Janet? I got to be more in the know. Strange thing about the ghost popcorn buckets is that when they were hot in the park, they were sold out. I'm sure they would say it's a supply chain issue. This is exactly what I'm talking about, Cindy. I could not believe that the popcorn buckets were in their version of Company D in Florida. I don't think they hit here. I don't think they had a surplus here. But they had a huge surplus in Florida. I have some Florida spies that could tell me that. Mm -hmm. In fact, I said if they were still there to buy me one because I wanted to give, do it as a giveaway for my tribe. I'm always on the lookout. And the other thing I should tell you is my tribe is full of givers as well, because uh, behind me is a stack of things that they've given for the opportunity drawing. I, my idea was this was a great thought I said to clean my garage because I have a very unusual garage full of cool stuff that I have yet to discover. But when I open a, a vein, 
if you will, a lot of gold falls out. And so I figured rather than sell it on eBay, I give it, I do it in the, in the, in the, in the um, treasure chest. And you wouldn't believe what I come up with. So, so I, that was my goal, but then everybody started to give back and they sent me these amazing things and it's all behind me. It's like really cool stuff, really cool stuff. I can't even begin to tell you things they've made, things that their relatives have made, uh, things that they just think the tribe would enjoy. And, um, all this for $5 a month. I'm just saying, um, you know, yeah, sold out craziness, right? And I'm wondering if that's what happened with the Hitchhiking Ghost popcorn buckets is where they sold out. And why not bring them back? I mean, it might make some people mad, but it might make a lot of people happy. If, if, if you've got those mummy Mickeys, maybe they'll show up again this Halloween. You think maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not, but. I don't know. I, I'd bring it. I'd see. I'd test the waters. You know? I don't know. Maybe maybe that's not the way it works. Mummy making popcorn bucket wound up at Character Warehouse for like $12.99 for several months. See what Joseph is saying? But now they're selling them again at WDW at full price. Oh, so they are bringing them back. Uh, they glow in the dark now. I don't know if they're at Disneyland as well. Okay, so the other ones did not glow. This may be why they're not bringing them back. They may have made it glow, and now that's the difference. So, because here's you people that collect those Trader Sam's mugs. You know who you are. They had that Hitchhiking Ghost stacked headset, and you had to have them in green, in blue, in red, and purple. It's the same mold, guys. They're just painting it differently. Yet you had to have every single one, didn't you? So now this is what Disney's doing with the popcorn bucket. They're taking the mold, they're putting in glowy stuff, and they're releasing it. They're saving money, and they're selling it for the same price. Their profit margin is what? Larger. You don't mind that? Fine, but no, that's what you're doing. This is what you're telling them. Please be aware of the message you are sending Disney. Okay? And if you're someone who complains after about it, don't complain if you're if you're feeding the if you're feeding the fuel. Don't complain about the fire, okay? That's all I'm saying. You can make a difference. You heard Cindy. Say it with your dollars. They'll listen if you say it with your dollars. Okay? But if you choose not to, that's your choice as well. Just don't complain. And I'm not saying you are, but I'm saying danger, danger. Danger, danger. It's been a while since I could join you here. It's been crazy busy. Hope all is well. Yes, Ava, it's been great. It's just been lovely. Thank you for joining me. Jenna says, I mobile ordered at 6 a.m. on Friday and was there at 7.30, out by 8. Mobile order was very efficient. I heard this from several people. The way to go. Mobile order the day before and the line just went. But of course, they had your order already. Not true for Saturday for the walk-up line and and uh, various other stuff. It was a cluster you-know-what. Yep. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it as a planter until you just said that. LOL. She says it's either... It, it, it's something other than the previous mugs. I like it other than the previous mugs. In fact, the bartenders are hoping they keep this one and make it a permanent one with a drink. How do you drink out of it and not wear most of it? Help me, Janet. I'm looking at it going, uh-uh. I guess a straw is your only option. And you know how straws are nowadays. A whole nother conversation. So talk to me, Janet. Well, a little after 6 a.m. since the app crashed. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't perfect. Um, disappeared before our eyes. Uh, everything went poof. Yeah, that happens because you all want it. And so why would I say it's a bad idea when you all went crazy for it? I just, it's not a tiki and I don't understand. So that's why I need people like you, Janet, to explain it to me. Uh, you didn't recognize my Bella Lugosi quote from Ed Wood. Yes, 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 I did, but uh, uh, I didn't know what where it was from, so thank you for specifying. Yes, please, please attribute to me. I did, so just follow my lead, okay? Thanks, Joe. It's awesome. 
It was great. Uh, thank you, says Stuart. You're welcome, Stuart. And please go check it out because it's really a great organization. I love charities. I have a lot that I love. Uh, but uh, this one, this one really taught me some things. I learned so much from the families who have lost someone or the families who have someone at the hospital currently or the families who know where they can go uh, and the mixture of those that support. It's just, it's just a sea of givers from everywhere. And it's so nice to be encircled by such people, you know, because in the world of takers nowadays, and you've seen it, it's great to see givers everywhere. It really is. It's great to see givers everywhere. Thanks for clearing that up. I was getting ready to look for you on the street to buy your meal. <laughs> well, I did mention that I was going to do Robin at Brennan's. And uh, I mentioned it on a live feed, but I'm sorry, Bob. I don't know if you were, I thought you were on there because you're always present, but you don't always speak, but I thought you were there. So I thought I mentioned it. Forgive me because I really thought I was going to see you there and I missed you. I did miss you. Um, went to the page. Registration was cold, closed. Yes. Okay. So they've closed team registration, Stuart. But listen, um, um, email me, terry at terryharden.com. Email me and I will uh, reach out to Sharon if you want to be a part of our team. Okay. And I'll, I'll, you know, include your email and she will chat with you. Okay. Now is the time to chat as things are winding down because she has time. Okay. So uh, if our team is something you'd like to be a part of, then please do that. All right. Made a donation instead. Bless your heart. You're the sweetest ever. Please, please, please uh, reach out to us. Reach out to me and I will get you the information so you can connect with her before next year. And, as, and she will add you to our team offline. She'll add you now. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to be a Mickey's OUCA Walker, she will add you now. And then she will alert us when we go and join Mickey's OUC Walkers for chalk. That's always late. Always late. Uh, in the year that we're rocking and for walking. Um, but she will keep you posted. So uh, again, email me with your information and we'll take care of that. Okay. Since you want to. Okay. All right. I'd love to have you. I picked up the set of ghost popcorn buckets at company D $5. See $5 total. They've changed ecstatic because I could not get them in the parks. What is that about? What is that about? Okay, we've got more. Okay, just people that aren't my dad. All right. Yes, the Mickeys are back. Yes, wow, and they glow. Wow, I'm eager to see how they fare. New popcorn bucket I see Donald at, as a candy corn. That doesn't sound good. Could you post a picture? That doesn't sound good. Uh, drink it with a straw is how you drink. Uh, you drink. I think she's saying lots of the mugs. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like that piranha fish. Man, you can't drink this because you wear it. The piranha fish is cool. I donated a couple to Chalk because I thought they were cool looking. but uh, uh, But they were more tiki style. They look like a tiki to me. This whale does not look like a tiki to me. So I'm sorry. I'm just not loving it. Um, today is bad. It's okay, Janet. They're, they're stinkers, autocorrect. They're just stinkers. No, no, Joe Penny. No, no. <laughs> you guys. Friday was mobile order only. Saturday was the old way, which would which I wouldn't have done. I went home later Friday. Yeah, Friday, this mobile order. Guys, Janet is telling you one thing that is a big, a big clue here. In the world of YouTube, they call it a hack, don't they? Janet is telling you mobile order. She is so right. She is so right. If you love a tiki from Trader Sands, you got to mobile order it. Your day is not enveloped, engulfed, and devoured due to standing in line for hours and hours and hours. Now, those of you who cannot mobile order because you don't have a smartphone, see if you can get someone who has a computer, an iPad, something where you could mobile order. 
because Janet is absolutely 100% right. Had I seen a tiki, a, a tiki I wanted, I would have done as Janet did and mobile ordered because uh, Robert Anderson made it very clear that's the way to do it. Just, just do not pass go. Mobile order. Find a friend that'll mobile order and pay them to get it so you don't spend your life in a line uh, because there's only so many people in, at Trader Sam's that can help you. And they were able to get everything pre-ready and they had the 8 o'clock hour mobile order, the 9 o'clock, the 10 o'clock, and you came at your time and whoop, you were out just like Janet said. So uh, that's really a good idea. Bucket is big candy corn with Donald lips. Beak. Oh, this just does not sound. It doesn't sound cute. Please post it somewhere, Susan. It sounds awful. So I'm going to need to see it. It sounds creepy to me. Gosh, it sounds so creepy. So please, I'm, I'm trying not to pre-visualize. <laughs> please post it somewhere where I can see it and tag me, won't you? I'm dying to see it. I'm dying to see, but I, I, I'm really afraid. I'm very afraid now. Guys, I went over an hour and a half today because I wanted to answer your questions. And let's face it, I like talking to you. But uh, it's it's now time for me to sign off. I'm off to visit my father. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to also encourage you to join the tribe first and foremost. Go check it out. There are other tiers besides uh, the $5 tier, which is the base tier. There's a $10 tier, which lets you peek in the behind the scenes of my life, things that happen with me, places I go, things I build, things I work on. Sometimes you get to peek at it at the $5 level, but you get to see all of it at the $10 level. The other levels are still being fleshed out. So unless you just love me a lot, pick one of those two levels or another level that you think sounds good. You're welcome to it. Please join. And uh, especially if you're someone who's a giver and you're someone whose voice needs to be heard or you're someone who's at a crossroads in your life and you want some positive feedback without judgment. OK, in a world of judging you for being whatever, and I'm seeing it a lot lately, uh, it's it's making me sad. So um, I, I, I don't think social media is just too easy for people to call you names for things they think you should have realized. And honestly, we all get duped sometimes because those that we are willing to take from us are like Ka. They hypnotize us very well and they get us. And, and, and we are at a vulnerable stage. They, they can grab your vulnerable state. And I'm not talking Disney. I'm talking about someone who may be, uh, got reached out to something and got duped by a scam. You know, just because you fell for that scam doesn't mean you're a stupid person. Scam artists train to say just the right words and to get you in just the right zone so you find yourself doing something you'd never do at a time you wouldn't do it, and the next thing you know, you're clasped. So be careful. Get rid of those emails. Don't even read them because these people are professional. But please don't attack someone who has been hit by this. Show them some love and some sympathy because this is really a bad, bad area in our world today. So that again is why I'm saying here without judgment, here with love and caring. If you're a giver or someone who needs help and would give in reciprocation of that help, you're the person we're looking for. So please go here and check it out and join if it sounds good. If you're on the fence and don't know, join for a month. And if you don't like it, leave after a month, okay? It's fine. I won't be angry. It's really, I'm looking for the right group for the, for the tribe as you're looking for the right place to be. And you don't have to be Disney-centric. You don't have to be Ghostbuster-centric. You don't have to be puppet-centric. You don't have to be illustration-centric. You don't have to be designer-centric. You don't have to be, you see, Google me. You'll see all the things that I've done and I do. You don't even be, have to be Terry-centric. Just go and have fun and see what it's about. All right? Okay, guys. That's enough of that. And uh, and uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, oh, we've got a few more things. Here it says, I think it's a sippy cup. Still scary. <laughs> oh, it's a cup holder. It still sounds scary. <laughs> 
Zoom call tonight. What she's saying is that our special calls tonight because the tribe said they needed some nighttime ones because many work. So see, I listen. Um, have a great week from Bob. Joe says, I made my Western art album public for anyone interested in Western paintings. Uh, post it in the comments, Joe. You have my permission. I'd love to go see it. Evan says, uh, found the candy corn. So he's going to, he's texted, texted me a picture. Uh, I'll wait. Uh, everyone have a good week. You did not have, Joe is, Joe has an opinion. All right. Joe is one of the folks that is not an on the fence person. Is that right, Joe? You're not an on the fence and I love you for it. Okay. You, you've heard what they say. We've been quoting movies today. You've heard the karate kid walk to the right, safe, walk to the left, safe, walk the middle, squish. So Joe, you're never going to get, you're never in my mind going to be squish because you have a strong opinion and you're not afraid to state it. So uh, you're kind enough not to be political here. And I'm grateful to all of you who withhold that because I've asked it not to be that, but um, the rest of it, I love. Okay. So please don't apologize that you've been, you're a great guy. And thank you for apologizing to that. Honestly, if any of us offend, just wait five minutes. We'll get back into your good graces, hopefully. All right. Happy. Oh, that's my old friend, Scam Likely calling. Scam Likely calling me up and uh, hung up because they know I won't pick up. Okay. I love you guys. Mwah. Do something nice for someone else. It'll make you feel a whole lot better. Join the tribe. Be a part of it if you are so inclined. We will see you Friday. Bye for now. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Have a good week.